My mother died early on in the Freddie phenomenon. She'd see me on chat shows, on talk shows, or she'd be watching the late night talk shows and Johnny Carson, or someone would do a Freddy Krueger joke. You see, Mayor Bradley's in a little bit of trouble. He declared today Freddy Krueger Day. <laughs> it had begun to enter the vernacular then, and so she was receptive to that. But then she passed and didn't really see the sort of peak of the phenomenon. But my father got to experience a lot of that. And the only time my father ever visited me, I could have been, you know, not wearing makeup. I could have been at any one of dozens of other projects. But he came the day that I was crucified with Makita screws on three-quarter-inch plywood. That was the first project I worked with Robert on Nightmare 4. Oh! This is the biggest sequence. It's the finale. It's the end where all the souls burst out of him and get their vengeance on Robert. And I had this animatronic chest and torso on. Adjacent to me was a giant King Kong size chest of souls. They were doing a ratio thing with the camera. So I had these phenomenally sculptured special effects makeup heads of my victims, the souls of my victims, moving around and talking. And, and their little mouths and their lips would move and their nostrils would flare. And I could feel their little clockwork mechanisms behind them, you know, tearing at my flesh. I was up there for probably eight hours. We tortured the poor guy. We're shooting all day, he can't move. He's literally glued into that wall in this big animatronic body that's sticking out of his chest. Total trooper. And that's the day my father came to see his son, recruited by Stanford, crucified in make <laughs> with men that had, like there were like wires going up uh, every orifice on my body. You know, oh, uh, hi dad. <laughs> or, <laughs> it wasn't embarrassing as much as it was surreal and funny. Uh, but, but looking back on it, it was a rather strange way to, to have your father see you working as an artist.